It just shows patience, perseverance, and the light will happen. You just have to believe. Good morning. This morning you could say it's quite an opportunistic shoot. I haven't really got that much in mind. The reason I thought I'd get up early this morning and come out though is because last night before I went to bed I noticed just how crisp and clear the, the air felt last night. And the weather forecast last night for this morning looked very promising. We had a mix of clouds and what they said was going to be high up clouds mixed with uh, clear spells. So the sort of perfect conditions that you'd be looking for for a sunrise. However, I've come out this morning and pretty much all of the sky is clear apart from a very thick band of cloud on the horizon. So the total opposite of what we want. Of course, we want some clouds high up in the sky and the horizon to be pretty much clear to allow that sunrise to come through. So the idea I sort of had for this morning with relation to the sunrise probably isn't going to happen but there's always opportunities, always. You've just got to open your mind up and yeah, be open to other opportunities. So let's see what this morning has in store. It's lovely to be out bright and early regardless, and I'm sure we'll find something to shoot. We are of course in the middle of the Earth Challenge right now and one thing I really wanted to photograph as part of the Earth Challenge was hay bales in fields. But yet again, this happens every year for me, but I always miss the boats, I always miss them. And to be fair, I've seen them in the fields for the last few weeks, but I've just not gone out or made the time. I think that's the thing. I've been busy, but I could have made the time to go out and capture them and I just didn't. So we're now left with these freshly cut fields, but with no hay bales in them. But what I like about this, I think this morning, is these lines within it. And behind me right now, we've got the infamous Slane's Castle. And everyone goes to that castle and they all kind of shoot it from very similar angles. You know, it's a very iconic location in this part of Scotland. So my plan originally this morning had actually been to go down to the castle and, and photograph some of those more iconic scenes, but to incorporate it in with the challenge theme in some way but because we've got this huge blanket of cloud the sunrise isn't going to happen really I'm hoping though that when the sun does tip over the edge of it eventually we might get some nice light but in the meantime I'm going to try and use a light that we do have and try and enhance it using a polarizing filter and incorporate these lines within the field and just see if we can get a nice shot of the castle that's a little bit different with the, the earth theme incorporated into it because of course farming and using the land to produce pro produce happens all over the world and it definitely ties in with that earth theme so let's see what I can come up with. Suddenly some really nice light has just appeared behind me here. But it's in totally the opposite direction to any of the interesting subject matters here. I like to sometimes just sit back and enjoy these moments though. Because I'm thinking this morning's probably not going to go to plan. These lines in the fields are not leading to the castle, but they also just... Hmm, it's difficult. When I'm looking at this image, I'm envisaging it in my head with sunrise light. But right now that's just, uh, we're probably not going to get that because of the way that the clouds are. There's plenty of time left, so fingers crossed. <laughs> A 
as I walk closer and closer to the castle, the images are actually getting better because the closer I get, the wider the focal length I'm able to use is, which is allowing me to include more of the lines in my image. So I've just been like walking around trying to get an interesting shot with the lines framed up with the castle. Now the lines are not leading to the castle, which is obviously something that we're always taught in photography to ensure the lines are leading to your subject. But I'm trying to use them almost like a frame. And if we get beautiful golden light, which as I think I've already said, I'm not holding out for because that blanket of cloud is quite pronounced. But if we do, and this lights up here, it could lead to some pretty amazing photographs. But if not, this, these images I take this morning are not going to be amazing because the light's not quite right, it's not quite there this morning. But I'm hoping the beauty is going to lie in incorporating the old with the new and showcasing how the landscape and the earth in this specific location has been used over hundreds of years. It was once used as a very well-to-do stately home on the cliffs and now that's ruined and we've got the landscape being used for agriculture and farming. So definitely tying in with the earth theme here. And this is just something to say to you all when you're out doing these challenges. Don't be disheartened if your shoots don't go to plan. Still share your images because you never know, there could be something in them that other people look at, especially if you're sharing them on, on somewhere like Instagram where everybody can look at them. You never know what inspiration you might give somebody else. And every shoot you come on that doesn't quite work out is a learning opportunity for you. So that next time you know more what to look for or next time you have image ideas already but you're just waiting for the light. Because when you get the light, if you already have ideas of what to shoot in the back of your mind, getting good images becomes easier. The more you do anything in life, the easier it becomes. And this is definitely one of those opportunities here this morning. I've come to this castle so many times over the years and I always go on the same path, the same route. But as I've come over the field this morning to uh, do that, that shoot there, I've discovered this new path. I mean, it's obviously not a new path, but I've never been on it before. So I'm going to go for a little explore and see what different vantage points I can get of the castle and see if I can find any other earth themed photographs while I'm at it. Monday. I don't know about you but for me if I can get up early and get out for sunrise on a Monday it sets me up for the week. There's something so special about starting a new week out in nature and being creative. But even if you're not being creative with photography or other art forms just getting out to start the week during sunrise it's so good. So I just want to end this video by trying to inspire you all really to get out and enjoy these times of day. One thing I've realized in the last few weeks is how quiet nature has got with people. Now, of course, the big kind of summery tourism season is pretty much over now, but it always shocks me at this time of year how little people come outdoors compared to the summer. And obviously the weather is a factor of that, but this time of year is so beautiful. And I can guarantee you if I was here just three, four weeks ago, there would have been other photographers. But now that we're out with the summer season, people are back at work, it's getting colder, people don't want to come out anymore. And this morning I've had this whole location to myself. 
There was people sleeping in a van in the car park, but they've not come out. And there was somebody really far in the distance walking a dog. But actually in the field, on the cliffs and by the castle, there's not been a single other person. I've had it completely to myself. So if you're looking for a little bit of solace at this time of year, and I obviously appreciate that many of you live in busy towns and cities, but if you get the opportunity to come out somewhere in nature like this, you're, you will probably have it to yourself. And that is so beautiful. It's one of the biggest perks, I think, of being an outdoor photographer, is getting up for those beautiful sunrises and staying out for those beautiful sunsets and having locations to yourself. And this time of year is one of those times of year that it just happens. People stop coming outside for some reason. And I never understand it because we're coming into autumn, the most beautiful time of the year for photography. And just for being outdoors in nature, not just photography. And I know there's so many reasons why people suffer from mental health problems at this time of year, but if you are somebody who suffers from seasonal depression, try and get outside, because getting out into nature, breathing in the fresh air, being out in the sun, embracing the elements, it really helps. And I know that from experience, it really, really helps. So I just wanted to end that video on that this morning. Next time Monday comes around, if you're off work, or if you're retired, or if you have time to get up and out early in the morning before work, try and do it. Start your week on a high. Get out on Monday morning and embrace it. This morning may not have turned out as I hoped photographically, but that doesn't matter. I'm standing here right now on this beautiful cliff top, surrounded by the sea, the sun, a castle that's hundreds of years old, and there's just me. Me and my two cameras and nothing else and I feel so alive. Amazing. Now I guess it's time to see what the rest of this week has in store. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. If you haven't got involved with the Earth Challenge yet, you've probably got about another two weeks left to do so. Just take any images that you would like that resemble Earth. Share them with me on Instagram using the hashtag Kim's Photo Challenge or email me your images if you haven't done so already and just, just submit them. No matter what you think of them, submit them because it's, it's, a, it's a growth challenge for you. It's all about that personal growth and development and learning. Amazing. What a morning. Well, this morning's one of those mornings where you sign off a video and then bang! The conditions unfold. Look at the light right now. Isn't it incredible? I did not think we were going to get nice light. I just thought that a bank of cloud was too much and I thought the orange glow wasn't going to happen and although the orange glow is gone, this light that we've got right now is beautiful. So what I'm doing is I'm obviously not in the field anymore but I'm on this beautiful cliff top here. We've got it surrounded by this lovely wild grasses which to some people might seem quite messy but to me it's natural it's wild and it's beautiful and what i'm doing is framing the castle up against these grasses i'm using a combination of different apertures so i'm shooting at f11 to get that front to back sharpness but i've also gone right down to f4.3 to blur out some of these grasses in the foreground and ensure the castle itself is pin sharp and we've got these beautiful uh, rooks flying around the castle, giving it that gorgeous Dracula theme that, of course, this castle is well known for. So it just shows you, it really does show you, that sometimes you've got to just stay until that last moment, because you never know, you never know what the conditions are going to do. And I forgot to mention the only other thing I'm doing with these shots is I've got a polarising filter on which is allowing some of the blue of the sky, that lovely early morning blue light, to really come out in the images. Yeah. It's a lesson for me there. It's a lesson for us all. Every day. A lesson for me. Don't sign off the video until you're 100% sure it's over. Maybe I should wait until I get back to my car in future. Anyway. What a great way to end. It just shows patience, perseverance, and the light will happen. You just have to believe.
just look at the light. Believe it or not, I added no saturation to these images. The colours really were this strong. Before heading back home, I went back to the fields and captured these images here. This really showcases how light can improve an image. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you all again next time.